Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video. I hope everyone is doing great. Um, I've been having a rough like month and a half, about to be two months because I keep getting sick. The last two videos that I did, I was sick and trying to get over cold and then I got sick again for Thanksgiving. Um, the first time I got sick, I'm not sure why I got sick, but I know for sure the second time I got sick is because on um, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, I went to Rihanna's album release party and I was standing outside for so long in the cold and I just couldn't take it anymore. I was waiting on the red carpet for her to show up, but she didn't actually go on the red carpet because her concert at Webster Hall was behind and late. So I eventually just went inside. But when I went inside, inside was freezing cold. So I'm guessing that's why I the, uh, got a cold. Um, the cold from outside is totally different from the cold air from the air conditioner. So I ended up being sick for Thanksgiving and I'm still kind of stuffy right now trying to get over this cold and I'm just praying to God that I'm not sick again by the end of December. <sighs> I hope not. So just bear with me. I actually did not have October favorites because I actually didn't have anything to show you guys. It wasn't nothing that I was like, oh my gosh, I'm absolutely, you know, I'm absolutely loving this for the month of October. So I kind of just let October slide away. So I have some goodies for November and let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. It's the 8 in 1 Beauty Balm Skin Protector and this one is in medium deep share tint. I absolutely love this stuff. So you know, this was a really, really, really good idea because um, I feel like I'm getting older and I don't really care to wear foundation like that. And even still when I use it, it's just like a little bit. I don't like my face to be caked up or just have so much makeup that when I take my makeup off, it looks like day and night. So I like the fact that it's 8 in 1 and it's amazing. I believe I bought this at Dwayne Reed in the city for about between $6.99 and $8.99. I mean, it's kind of small. There are other companies where it's uh, bigger. I believe Neutrogena bottle is like this big, um, but it costs like $15. But I decided to give this one a try, and I absolutely love it. I have it on today, and it's really, really light. Really, really light, and I just like it for everyday wear. Absolutely love it if you're not the kind of person to wear makeup every day and I actually don't wear makeup every day but if you just want a little bit of coverage to look like you're awake and not dead perfect and I don't have no concealer or anything like that I just put this on um and probably just did like um what you call it define my eyebrows a little bit and that's it really really simple absolutely love it next thing is my ruby kisses lipsticks I did do a video um, I'll link that down below for my favorite lipsticks so I believe I showed you guys these two um, I showed you guys the Bordeaux and the burgundy so let me just show you again just in case if you haven't watched the other video this one is the burgundy really really nice color absolutely love it such a beautiful color and their lipsticks are very very moisturizing I I still cannot believe it. So these were $1.99. This is the Bordeaux. Bordeaux's the darker shade. Absolutely love it. And then I had these other two. This color is cream caramel. This is actually not mentioned in my last video because I actually just um, I got these like right after I made that video. And it's a beautiful orange with shimmer really really nice and what I love is that you actually don't need a lot of this you actually just need a little bit because it's actually really thick and creamy and the last one is ice princess really really nice pink also has shimmer it's really really light if you're a kind of person that don't like lipsticks that are too bright really really pretty actually have a little bit on today on top of my lip gloss so all of these were $1.99 and they're very moisturizing very very moisturizing they're such pretty colors I love all the colors that they actually have um, I'm actually thinking of getting black might be interesting but they're really really pretty so the next thing is I've been using a face scrub it's really really good to at least exfoliate scrub your face uh, two to three times a week 
but I do have one that's um, you could use this every day because it's gentle and this is the Kusa apricot apricot, apricot scrub um, for face and body I bought this on my local beauty supply store for $3.29 and this is a 15 ounce jar um, it's a pain in the ass that it's in a jar but um, I still like it anyway, so this is what it looks like. It's actually a little bit looser than the St. Ives apricot scrub. And the grains are actually smaller, so the grains don't feel like it's scratching your face. Because I find that when I was using St. Ives apricot scrub, it felt like it was scratching my face. <laughs> Literally. So I use this, and I absolutely love it. Um, great for if you have dead skin. It's cold now, so that means that your skin will be extra dry. And I practically use this once a day. Sometimes I'll skip a day because I'm also using my black soap. But this is amazing if you have dry patches on your face and uh, it's getting cold and I have to over moisturize my face. So this is the Kusa Apricot Scrub and you can use it for your face and your body. So that's not bad for $3.29 and I absolutely love that the grains are smaller than the St. Ives so it doesn't feel so harsh on your face. Next thing is, I've been loving my castor oil. You guys know that castor oil actually comes first when it comes to my favorite oils. It's castor oil, um, grapeseed, olive oil, coconut oil. That's how, like, those are the um, top oils that I normally use. So this is Tropic Isle Living Jamaican Black Castor Oil, 100% natural, no salt, all-purpose healing oil. And I got this from Dwayne Weed for $8.99, and it's down to here so from the first night that I bought it I was just so obsessed um, with it and it made me and I thought to myself I don't know why you're so obsessed with this oil love it in my hair love to use it as um, use it as a pre poo and also on top of my deep conditioner and also after I wash my hair I would put a little bit in um, a cap with some peppermint or tea tree oil which is this right here that I'm also going to show you guys and just massage my scalp every single day I'm still doing it now I'm upset I love the smell of the peppermint or the tea tree and just massaging my edges with the castor oil and I freaking love this stuff I always buy it when it runs out I always make sure that I buy it so yeah so this was $8.99 from Dwayne Reed um castor oil is generally around uh, $5.99 and up depending on where you buy it but if you're in the city everything is just expensive so here is the peppermint oil that I've been using this is by De La Cruz peppermint oil this is a one um, one flow ounce bottle I believe I bought this bottle for $6.99 from Dwayne Reed as well in the city and it's actually finished right now I actually just repurposed some from drugstore.com because they had a sale because of Black Friday and I love the smell of peppermint so I've been adding this to my oil for my scalp massages and I've also been using it in an oil burner along with eucalyptus oil remember I said that I'm sick so um, eucalyptus oil can clear up your nasal passages so great to have this in your house so this was also $6.99 and this is also by De La Cruz and this is a two point bleh, this is a two flow ounce bottle so you can actually burn these in your house you can put them in oils shampoos and conditioners um, with the eucalyptus oil you could actually put a drop in your hand warm it up between your hand and put it over your nose and it'll clear up your nostrils which is what I need to do right now because I sound extremely stu uh, stuffy um, so you will put it in your oil burner so I got this oil burner from this store that's down the block for me it's like an instant store that sells candles and fresh uh, shea butter and body scrubs and all that stuff so um, it's a stencil so when it light up at night it just glows pretty cool and you use tea tree um, not tea tree uh, tea lights inside this tea light is actually scented you could use any one that you want this is scented with cucumber I believe and you put the oil in top and then you burn it and it starts to smoke don't worry it's not gonna set on fire but it will smell up your whole house and I love to buy all kinds of scents and put in there and burn it but I've been burning the peppermint in there um along with eucalyptus oil you can put any um just make sure it's an oil in there and burn it they have specific um, liquids too that come with that depending on where you go 
Um, absolutely love it. Um, if you cook in your house and there's a specific smell that just won't go away, burn something extremely strong like rose, lavender, eucalyptus, or peppermint, and the smell would disappear. Trust me. So next thing is, I've been loving the Dials Natural Body Wash. Uh, they have so many scents, and not one of them stink. Normally when there's like a line of body wash, one just like knocks you off your feet and you're like, that smells horrible. Why is that even in a bottle? This is amazing. This one is the Plum Blossom and Almond Oil. Love it. You can get it from Walgreens, CVS, Dwayne Reed, Walmart, probably Kmart. Practically like any store that will sell beauty products. I believe it ranges from $3.99 and up. The smells are amazing. Um, this is actually finished and I'm kind of mad because I didn't get a chance to go get another one. Mm. Smells freaking amazing. Here it is again, the Dials Naturals Moisturizing Body Wash. It is 94% natural origins, no artificial dyes, no parabens, biodegradable, 100% recycling packaging, and it's hyper hypoallergenic. Love it, smells amazing. The next thing is a shampoo that I've been using. Remember I told you guys I was trying to lean back on the shampooing? And I have been leaning back. The only time I use shampooing is when I use something that happens to have mineral oil or petroleum. So, I decided to go to Lush in the city. It's um, down by Union Square. Uh, I think it's 14th Street and uh, 5th Avenue, I believe. And I got some solid shampoo. This is the Trichomania Shampoo. It's rich, creamy, coconut solid shampoo to nourish and soften dry or uh, curly locks. So this piece was $13.63. Um, are they expensive? Yeah, they're like in the middle. Um, so here is the soap. I love the fact that they're wrapped in such nice paper. Um, let me just show you guys. So it was, are you kidding me? Sorry. So it was a bigger piece than this and I broke it. I love the smell of coconut. It's very, very faint. It actually smells like cocoa butter. It smells like cocoa butter. Here it is right here. And I actually used it already. Well, this is another piece that, uh, that I used. Um, it, what I love is that it gets your hair clean, like squeaky, 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 squeaky clean, but it doesn't feel stripped. It's weird. It has that extremely clean feeling, but it doesn't feel stripped. It doesn't feel moisturizing either, but there's something about the way it makes my hair feel. So, absolutely love it. $13. I mean, you actually don't need a lot either, because when I use it, I practically put it in my hand and just rub it all over, and that's it. And my hair is pretty thick, so... It um, suds up actually really, really fast. And also, it doesn't sud that much. If you're one of those people that love to have a gazillion bubbles on top of your head, do not get this. It suds just a little bit, just enough to get your hair clean, and that's it. The next thing that I want to show you guys is this clutch that I bought from uh, Strawberries in the City. It's on Lexington and 42nd Street. It's pretty big. That's like one of the biggest strawberries I've ever been in. So um, I wasted no time getting this. I love, you guys know I love my leopard print. Um, do you see this orange? It's super bright. Love the size. And it actually has um, a strap for you to use. And it's a lot of space. A lot to hold whatever that you need that's necessary. I love the tips on the bag. So this was about $16, I believe. I absolutely love the color. Do you see? Guys, this is amazing and the next thing which is the last so let me tell you guys um ever since the iphone i actually have the iphone 4 4s and ever since it upgraded and they took youtube off of the front um screen and then you had to go download it my youtube has not been the same they changed the format which i'm not too fond of and ever since i downloaded it I can't watch anybody's videos it's always buffering it drives me freaking insane 
and so now I have something else to use so here it is the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 um, I actually did not buy this I actually got it as a gift my best friend gave it to me and I was super super excited so guess what I can watch everyone's YouTube videos from here I absolutely love the screen it's bigger I find that I'm squinting now on my phone to watch YouTube and read things so YouTube is just better on here let me find it everything just looks bigger and better absolutely love it it has so much stuff I'm still trying to figure it out um, so my best friend gifted this to me because she actually got it at the Samsung Galaxy Note release event where Kanye West performed um she's a journalist so she got this in her gift bag and she didn't have any use for it so she gave it to me and i've been using it to watch everyone's video um also let me just talk to you guys about um also sorry this ranges from 300 dollars and up just to let you know and i want to talk about my favorite youtubers um for the month of november i'm completely obsessed with passion jones absolutely love her to death um she's from new york she's super sweet love all her videos gorgeous great sense of style um great tips next person is um it's my ray ray she's super adorable super super funny i love someone who can have fun and not so stuck up and uptight next person is destiny godly where the hell have i been since she's been making videos all i kept thinking to myself is nobody couldn't tell me about her her videos are amazing and the last person is there's somebody else mahogany knots is it mahogany knots mahogany knots she's hella funny all i keep thinking is oh my god why haven't i been subscribed to these people I actually just subscribed to mahogany knots maybe like a month and a half ago and i'm like where the hell have i been i've been under a rock if there's anybody that you think that's really really cool that i should know about leave them down um leave their um, name or their page down below please and thank you like these people are amazing um and that's it for my november favorites if you have any questions or comments just leave them down below and i'll see you guys in the next video uh, i am coming um up with a black friday haul i'm just waiting to receive my stuff i did not actually go out on black friday because i've been out on black friday and people get hurt and killed and stabbed over foolishness and i don't want to know parts of that so i did most of my shopping online i'm just waiting for everything and i'll definitely share that video with you guys and um also another video of a hairstyle i'll be trying that another youtube did so hopefully it comes out great see you guys in the next video and enjoy your day